Okay, there's a new addition to the Eurorack setup. It's a Swords from Behringer. This is a clone of the Mutable Instruments Blades. It's a dual multi-mode filter with low pass, band pass, and high pass. And you have CV control over the filter mode, the routing of the two filters, and the resonance and cutoff. So quite a bit of CV control. Um, each filter has a drive control which is like a two-stage wave folder and will add some extra distortion to your sound. So we can just hear what it sounds like. I have a MIDI keyboard off screen. I'll just play it for a second. So I have the first filter set to low pass and the second one set to high pass and the routing is set to series. So we can try turning the drive up. Just playing with the rooting knob. Um, you can try changing the modes. Looks like it really starts to squeal on bandpass. So I have a sequence, we can just run it and send some modulation to the filters and see what they sound like.
So if you can't tell, I'm only half sure what I'm doing with this thing. I've only played with it for a few minutes. So this is really just like my first test. But the reason I got it, I have a couple of multi-mode filters around already. There's a pair of ARP 2500. There's a pair of Polyvox style. There's a pair of Surges, which are kind of like Roland style. So to add another two multi-mode filters, kind of a tough decision to make. Um, the reason I got this one is mostly because of the price. It was $140 and the other clones of this module are more like $450 to $500 Canadian this is. So I um, had to try it out at least. Um, it's pretty good. It kind of reminds me of like a Oscar type filter maybe or like some Steiner Parker. I was thinking MS-20 at first, but it's kind of different. It sounds more modern. doesn't really sound old necessarily. So I got it because it has voltage control over the filter modes and the routing, which none of my other filters have. I could set it up with VCAs acting as crossfaders, but kind of low on VCAs in this rig. So kind of makes sense to have something dedicated for this and it fit perfectly in this spot. So um, pretty happy with it so far. Um, uh, I guess different things I'm going to try with it. I've heard you can use it as a complex oscillator because the filters can both self oscillate and then the drive acts as wave folders. So you can patch up interesting things as a sound source with this. Uh, I might do a dedicated video on that if it turns out that it's really good. But that's all for this um, kind of sloppy introduction. If you made it this far, thanks for watching.